you need some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and the most reliable coins on the market right now. Make sure to use code Poodle for 20% off at checkout. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, we got brand new content. So first off, today's Tuesday, so hopefully, cross our fingers, we get house rules today. So, you guys don't know what house rules is? I hope you do by now. House Rules is a weekly limited time event that happens usually on Tuesdays around 10.30 Eastern Time. And they reward, it's usually like 10 objective wins and you typically get a free Nat player. So these are always exciting every week. We've gotten the Theme Diamond one, the free Nat Elite, and the free Nat Superstar. So, so far these are great rewards. We didn't get one last week due to the Superstar KO game mode dropping and Hurricane Dorian. We don't really know what the excuse was, but whatever the reason may be, we did not get one last week. So hopefully we get them this week. My prediction so far is I think maybe Nat Legend we could be getting if they do an, they actually drop it. They've not said anything just yet, which is surprising. Usually by now at this point, I've heard something, but we have not. So that kind of does suck. But now it's, now we just wait for the time being. But it does drop in approximately one minute, guys. But before we get into that, there is new Team of the Week players this week too. So we're going to be going over both of those in this video. We got Team of the Week Lamar Jackson. Now this quarterback might be better than Vic. He's faster than Vic and... Consequentially, Michael Vick's price went from 3.8 million to 1.7 million coins just upon the announcement of Lamar Jackson. I'm going to take you guys over to Twitter to show you guys the stats and go over him for now. And then the Superstar set, I mean the Superstar, the uh, Team of the Week sets, and then eventually House Rules if they do drop at the time they should. So let's head on over to Twitter. Coming over here, you see Lamar Jackson. I'm on Twitter right now. Pretty cool card art. I'm really liking the Team of the Week card art this year. It looks like a cool interface in general. He's six foot two, so he's tall. He's on the taller side. He's got 90 speed. That would be tied for fastest back in the game besides Bo Jackson and Gale Sayers. He's insanely fast with 85 throw power, 86 throw accuracy short, 82 throw accuracy mid, 82 throw accuracy deep, 90 throw under pressure, 88 throw on the run, 86 play action. So if you chem him up properly, he'll have threshold throw under pressure, threshold throw on the run, and a pretty high throw power and close to threshold throw accuracy um, short. Now, if it's anything like pass Maddens, I believe the difference between an 82 throw accuracy mid and an 88 throw accuracy mid is pretty the same. If it's like last Maddens, where if you're not in the threshold, you kind of all pass the same. So that would make him better than Vic, theoretically, besides the throw power. Throw power puts Vic in a different class, but speed wise, if, that, if this card goes for below 300k, he'll be a snag for now. I'll use him until Vic comes out. So this would be a snag at quarterback, although I do not believe he will be getting escape artist because escape artist, like you guys know, is a tier three ability. So there's three ability slots, right? There's the first one, the second one, and the third. Now, the third ability slot typically is where the best abilities are, like evasive, uh, arm bar, and escape artist. Now, you cannot activate tier three abilities or even unlock them until you have this card fully powered up or any card fully powered up. So in theory, unless they drop a Lamar Jackson power up today, you will not be able to acquire him with escape artist. And even if they did, his power would probably go for about 200K for the time being. But this card is awesome. He is Vic-esque and he's faster than Vic. So Vic's price has dropped tremendously. So if you guys ever wanted a Vic, now would be the time to scoop him. I will eventually get Vic 10 weeks from now when they do drop his card. But with the release of Lamar Jackson at 90 speed, I think they're trying to counteract Vic. So in years past, the way they ran this was that Vic would be far and away the fastest quarterback and pretty much everyone was forced to compete using him. So now what they're doing, I think, is making other mobile quarterbacks close enough, if not even better, to really change up the level of competition online. Like you won't only see Vix, which I think is a good step in the right direction. Lamar Jackson is really fast, so it does make sense. But guys, let's go check in a second if House Rules is out and see if this Lamar Jackson is posted and the new Team of the Week stuff. I'm going to back out of Madden. Let's head back over to the Madden screen. Yeah, so of course, once I stopped recording, they did release, pre-release technically on Twitter, what the cards will be. So there is limited time Sammy Watkins. 198 yards, 6 foot 1, 89 speed, 85 jumping, 89 catching, 86 catch traffic, 90 spec catch, 86 short route running, 80 medium route running, 86 deep route running. This guy is Tyree Kill with hands. This is like Odell Beckham Jr. Superstar card. I love this card right here. The only issue with Sammy Watkins, I don't think he'll get that many upgrades this year. Unless Tyree Kill's out for an extended period of time. So, would I power him up? Probably not. But guys, this card right here is insane. I definitely recommend if he goes below 200k, you pick him up because he's going to be one of the best wide receivers in the game. He might already be right there for best wide receiver in the game. And Sammy Watkins is pretty insane, not going to lie. Six foot one. Now coming over to CJ Mosley on the Jets. He's six foot two, 90 overall middle linebacker. He's got 82 speed, 86 excel, 72 strength, 92 tackle, 93 play rec, 75 block shedding, 88, 88 hit power, and 74 zone coverage. This is pretty much a slightly upgraded Bobby Wagner 
Would I recommend him over Pat Willis or Ryan Shazier? No, but he's still a pretty good option. I don't think he's better than Wagner. I mean, I don't mean, I think he is better than Wagner if you have him, but I would not make the switch from Shazier or Willis. I'd much rather Willis still. And if you come on up all the way to here, you see the rest of the releases. There is an 82 James Bradbury, Anthony Harris, TJ Hawkinson, which is actually pretty cool. He did really good. Marlon Mack, 83 overall. John Ross, actually 91 speed. Might be a budget, no money spent beast right there. Vernon Hargreaves, uh, Devin Kennard, and Hollywood Brown, 91 speed. So your rookie premier, Hollywood Brown, will be getting an upgrade to 91 speed. Is he that useful? Not exactly, but 91 speed on a no money spent team might be very useful. Him and John Ross. A few budget beasts come out of Team of the Weeks typically every week. And I did believe I saw a Dak Prescott along the line. Yeah, here we go. Dak Prescott. He has 86. Oh, he's an 86 overall, 78 speed, 83 throw power, 86 throw accuracy short, 83 throw accuracy mid, 83 throw accuracy deep, 80 throw on the pressure, 83 throw on the run, and 81 play action. He's adequate at best. Nothing special there. Pretty cool to see a Dak card, but as a whole, nothing too special, guys. So we're back in the Madden screen. I just backed out. Let's go right back in. Let's see if they dropped house rules. I really hope they did. It would really suck if they didn't because we need house rules on a weekly basis. It's a really fun mode. It keeps everyone busy on Madden. It does not look like they're dropping a house rules once again. Unless they drop it later in the day so it doesn't drop right in time with uh, Team of the Week. But let's go on over to Solo Challenge so you guys can see the new Team of the Week Solo Challenges. Remember guys, you do want to play these Team of the Week Solo Challenges because if you do not play them, you will be missing out on a free Team of the Year player come the end of the year. They have not dropped that yet either. Typical, typical EA. It is not on time. But guys, in theory, you guys want to be on top of this because the Team of the Week solo challenges will be, in fact, very useful come the end of the year. You get one token at the end, and I believe it was only two stars for a token, so you pretty much just have to play it in general. Just play one on easy and get one objective done. And those tokens, if you collect all 17 slash 18 towards the end of the year, and in case they do drop extra solos like they usually do to make up for people who miss weeks, I wouldn't take that chance though. So make sure you're playing every week to get maximum tokens because at the end of the year, there will be a set all the way over here called team of the year set you exchange all your tokens for a free team of the year player it's typically auctionable too which is pretty good that does lead up to us getting a lot of coins like last year i got tyra kill out of it he went for a million coins i ended up keeping him because i had tyra kill but a million coins for tyra kill is pretty awesome for free and then on top of that we do get the mud 10 player so we are getting a lot of free limited time type top tier cards for free this year we have the superstar cards for free um and that elite so far it's a good no money spent here now to show you guys what i was talking about with michael vick obviously michael vick dropped in price a lot now i'm gonna go compare him to lamar jackson real quick for you guys so you guys understand what i'm trying to say when i say that lamar jackson's pretty much michael vick technically so he's 1.8 million right now so throw accuracy mids damn near the same throw accuracy shorts near the same throw accuracy deep near the same the throw power is really the only difference lamar jackson actually has better throw under pressure similar play action and similar throw on the run the only thing he's missing on is really the uh the throw power in my opinion but he does have faster speed that offsets it. So if you could power up that Lamar Jackson, I think he might even be better than Vic to use right now. Because throw under pressure is really important and speed's really important. So that's really what you need right now if you want to have a running quarterback. Especially because when you're going to be doing like roaming dead eye and stuff, you really don't. You're going to be under pressure, scrambling a lot. And just in general, quarterbacks make a lot of bad throws under pressure. Like my uh, Patrick Mahomes, I could just feel it. When he, when he was about to get sacked and I threw a ball, even if they were just breaking past the line, I airmail balls like out of bounds. Like it was pretty unreal how this would go. So in my opinion, I really do think lamar jackson if he isn't like 800k if he's actually affordable he will be an awesome awesome card to have on your team in place in replacement of vic and then you can just use him for now and then and then eventually move up and then when vic does come out in the month 10 for free when you play play the solo challenges you will be able to get him so you should be just fine on that aspect i hope i played my solos yeah i did because it was vic i was about to say i thought i missed my solo challenges i'm not seeing any new house rules which does kind of suck let's go check play now seasons that kind of sucks there's no house rules guys I really don't know where they are unless they're delaying everything which wouldn't even make sense yeah there's no house rules i'm not seeing team of the week i'm really seeing nothing right now madden really um really messed up here they're changing our times yeah that's it uh no team of the week so i mean at least you guys got to see lamar jackson and guys again real quick lamar jackson i don't know i don't want to say he's bait right there is Vic, there is Lamar. Those are two top tier guys. So Steve Young was bait at an 81 speed. I think Lamar Jackson at an 80 and a 90 speed with his stats isn't really bait. Steve Young was bait, I told you guys. Lamar and Vic are now out and they blow away Steve Young in far, as far as running goes. So if you wanted a running quarterback, there you go. That gives you that taste of that mobility that you guys have all been wanting. But I can't imagine another quarterback is gonna be better than Lamar and Vic for quite a while as far as running goes. Even though Russell Wilson won't be as fast, 
a, um, a uh, what's it called? Russell Wilson. Andrew Luck's out of the league, so that, there goes that on his mobility card. Deshaun Watson won't be as fast. Obviously, he's 85 overall, and he had a 79 speed. Cam Newton won't be nearly as fast. Probably like an 84 speed. He's even doing less running in real life, too. So, I really think this will be the top two guys. So, you can safely buy Lamar Jackson, in my opinion. I wouldn't buy him day one. Give it like a week. Wait on some more Team of the Week packs drop, and they kind of go down a little bit because... Right now, he's way too expensive. He's going to be way too expensive. Like, off the rip, he's probably going to be like 700K. He'll probably come down to like 400, 350. I mean, if he's by 200K, that is a snag. For 200K, a Lamar Jackson that's pretty much baby Vic. Give me that all day over Vic for 2 million coins almost. Don't get me wrong. If you guys wanted Vic, now would be the time to buy him, though, because he is half the price. He literally got cut in half. One, He lost. People who bought him for 3.5 million coins lost 1.8 million coins. I'd be sad. I'd be I'd be genuinely sad right now if I lost that many coins. So it does not look like they're gonna be put into packs right now. I don't know what up. This past two weeks with EA, they've they've been botching things, house rule glitches, no team of the weeks out on time. I mean I thought they came out at 10:30. Maybe I guess not. But there's also no house rules. Like I don't know what's up with that. House rules is cool. Like we love house rules. They're just not gonna do those anymore. Like I don't I don't understand where the house rules are. It's typically always today. Team of the weeks are not out. They're really behind their game, guys. Guys, this is this is a this is a bad start. The NFL season for Madden, at least. I don't know. I don't know if it was the hurricane. Although even with the hurricane, they got out plenty of stuff in time. So they got out their Vic. They got out their packs. They got out their superstar KO. But house rules has been now MIA for two weeks. Um, hopefully, it does make a return at least by today, please. Like something today. I really need something to do on Madden. Without, I don't feel like playing seasons. Weekend league's over. House rules is kind of like our middle of the week buffer to really get us through the week, give us something fun to do, give us some rewards to earn. But they're behind on that, and they're behind on team of the week. So guys, I will be going to class soon. So this is kind of my team of the week video for you guys and my attempted house rules. But that's about it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy the content today, the content video. I hope you guys like the Lamar Jackson. If you are planning to pick up the Lamar Jackson, comment down below. And if you haven't already, make sure to go on over down below. Hit the like button. Let's get this video to 100 likes. Make sure to hit the subscribe. Turn on the noti bell, and boys, get me to 8K as soon as possible. Let's keep growing our channel as a whole. All of you guys are part of this channel, so thank you for all the support. Say what's up down below. Going over to Twitter, and that's it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'm out. See you guys in the next video. Peace.